the returning officer disappeared on the 11th, which was a Thursday, at 9 a.m., as per the reports which were given by the police. And this returning officer conducted elections smoothly. There was no incident reported that there was a problem at Embakasi's constituency by the media houses or by any person. On the 8th of August, he conducted elections. On the 9th of August, he was still conducting elections. On the 10th of August, he was still conducting elections because election is both the qualitative, which is the process, and the quantitative, which is the numbers. And on the 11th, when the tallying was taking place and the results were out, the only thing that was remaining for the returning officer to do was to declare the winner, the winners of the elections. The member of National Assembly winner was already known, and I got 57,410 votes against my unworthy opponent, who got 29,110 votes. So the question is, when somebody dies, the first question you ask yourself, who would benefit from the death of this person? Nani ata benefit kutoka kwa kifo ya huyu mtu? It could be clear that this person died because of elections. So in this election, between me, the winner, and my opponent, the loser, who was going to benefit from the death? Would I kill a returning officer who was supposed to announce me as the winner of the elections? It does not make sense. It is not watertight to justify the conviction. But why would a loser kill the returning officer? One, if the returning officer ate his money and never delivered. Number two, if he wanted to petition this election, having known that he had lost. If he petitions and accusing the winner of the same. So, the question is simple. Who would benefit from the death of the returning officer? Is it a person mwenye ameshinda uchaguzi ama mwenye ameshindwa uchaguzi? Kama mimi, I wanted to be announced as the winner. Why would I kill the returning officer? Who was going to announce me as the member of parliament? Be that as it may, I would like to invite the DCI to take the first suspect. The first suspect was issued, who issued a statement this morning concerning the death of the returning officer. Because this is a serious matter, and this returning officer, when you heard on news yesterday, some of the family members said that this person might have been killed the day, just the day when election, when the presidential elections were announced, were declared. So it is clear, and the person who was declared there is Ruto. This opponent comes from UDA. So this thing, you just add one plus one, you get two. It is very clear. So from there, from here I'm headed to the DCI because this is defamation. I've instructed my lawyers to file a case in court about the defamation of my good name. Let me na tumona mwishimwa Moreithi amba ilishindua. Akisema kwamba mwishimwa babu ndio aliuwa returning officer. Tuta kushutumu yu mambo kwa njia ya juu na kusema achezo propaganda. Kwa sababu unapo shindua uchaguzu na kuwa na machungu. Na hiyo machungu yake nafaa kupereka maali pengine. Si kuleta propaganda ya kwamba mtu ameua mtu mgine kwa sababu ya uchaguzi. Babu hakuwa na niya yote kwa sababu niye ya litangazo mshindi katika embakasi east kama mjumbe. Kwa hivyo nataka kumwambia mwishimua Moreithi hiyo mambo amba na eneza hawachani na ayo. Na tumemwambia mwishimua babu vile vile tunampereka katika DCI. Eze, eze kuendika statement yake kama inaitajika. Na pia tuweze kuambia DCI amushike maramoja mwishimua amba ilishindu wa Moreithi. Ili eze kuendika statement vizuri na watu wakutane kwa court. Na hiyo propaganda yake ya wachana na ayo, watu wamesha chagwana kumekua na amani, na sisi bado tuna, tunaomba watu wakua na amani, embaka sisi kuna amani, Nairobi kuna amani, so sisi tunaitaji amani kila mara. Kwa hivyo wakianza propaganda kama hizo, zinaleta watu kutokuwa na amani katika eneo zao. Kwa hivyo mwishimua babu, tunasimama na ye kama ODM, party, Nairobi County, na kuona kwamba kila kitu inendelea, tunafuatilia kuona kwamba mambo yote kwa sawa. Kwa hivyo tu... Ningekua na intention ya kuwa huyu mtu. Mbona siku muua before? Mbona ni uwe uwe mtu? Sazile nimesha ona, nimeshinda election. Kwenye mimi ni wazimu. Hata muenda wazimu haezi fanya kitu kama yoju watakuwa na furaha sana. In fact, anaeza kufa juu ya furaha. Yes. Hii maneno ya kusema watu wameuwa mtu ya wachane na hiyo puzi. Kitu ya pili. Kulikuwa na election ya president. Kulikuwa na aspirants wa president. 
kulikuwa na election ya governor aspirants walikuwa kulikuwa na winner kulikuwa na losers kulikuwa na election ya senator kulikuwa na winner kulikuwa na losers kulikuwa na election ya women rep kulikuwa na winner kulikuwa na losers kulikuwa na election ya mp member of national assembly winner losers mca winner losers which means that kwa hii election ya embakasi east kulikuwa na over 50 aspirants si ni kweli over 50 aspirants from president to mca mbona ni babu owino ndi wana point ameua mtu na babu owino ndi alipata the highest number of votes kushinda election ya president kushinda ya governor kushinda ya senator kushinda ya women rep kushinda ya mcs so hii upuzi huyo jamaa achane nayo mimi maneno ya koti kama nataka kwenda election petition alinipeleka kotini Six months alinipeleka high court Six months court of appeal Six months supreme court bado tukutane na yeye huko kotini Al, nilikuwa awarded cost of 10 million kenya shillings sijawahi muomba nilimsamea hiyo 10 million alifaa nilipe Ninge, ningeenda kotini hata ange contest but because nilijua niko na unworthy opponent nilisema huyu ni kukanyaga tu ni kama ni kukula ndo uma beating muredi was as easy as snatching a lollipop from a baby asante sana